What's up guys, DIY Savage Guy here, and welcome back to another episode of my channel. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a series about life hacks, and basically anything that I find a little tip, trick, or anything on, I'm going to try to share it with you. That way you guys can try to save some money and just find easier ways to do these things. So if you guys are new here, make sure you like, subscribe, throw me some comments down below, make sure your post notifications are on, and also make sure you guys are following me over on Instagram. i got a link down below. I do post things on there quicker than it makes its way over to YouTube. And to all my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming back and continuing to support me. So when I was painting, I knew that I needed a primer tip and I knew that I needed a regular gun tip. Primer tip needs to be a little bit bigger. So we're looking for about a two. And for about clear coat and regular coat, you're looking for about a 1.4 and that's what standard is. So I wound up finding a little life hack and just a nice easy way to do it. So I'll show you guys that in this episode. So couldn't find any regular tips and I didn't really feel like spending too much money on a, a paint gun with my minimal skills. So hope you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you find it useful and if you guys want to see more like this, let me know. Salvage guy here and today we're gonna to be doing some painting. Now I went down to Harbor Freight Tools and I picked up two of these guns, one for primer and one for paint. Um, base coat, clear coat type of thing. So the reason why I picked up two of these is because I need two different tip sizes. For primer you want to use about a two inch or two millimeter tip and for base coat, clear coat you can get away with a 1.4. That's pretty much a universal one that is best for all those other things. So since the primer is a bit thicker you want to have a two millimeter tip. So instead of buying a higher quality gun or spending $20, $30 on each tip, I just went out and picked up two of these and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill this out with a 5 64th inch drill bit and that will give me a two millimeter hose hole and I will have two guns, one specifically for primer and one specifically for base coat clear coat. So I have my 5 64th inch drill bit, just going to put it right through. And just like that, we have a 2 millimeter spray gun tip. So now that we have the 2 millimeter, we're going to put this back on. And this gun will be our primer gun. The gun came with this nice little wrench. So we'll just tighten that up. Screw our tip back on. Just like that, we have a two millimeter spray gun from Harbor Freight Tools. That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. Hopefully you found this nice little easy trick, life hack type thing in order to you know help yourself paint. That way you don't have to worry about spending so much money on buying different guns or different tips or anything like that. You know, a little ingenuity goes a long way with this. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, throw me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. And also make sure you guys got those post notifications on. Hope that you guys would just pick up a wrench, buy a car, do whatever you need to do to try to become a DIY salvage guy yourself.